EFG Science TV, function through diversity, pioneering work in China, the largest ever forest experiment on biodiversity. So far, the team of researchers has analyzed the flora and fauna and a large number of processes in the Chinese forests. To round off this series of films, they're studying the biodiversity underground in the part of the soil that isn't normally visible. Basically, the researchers working on this biodiversity project in the subtropical forests of China are not only interested in the diversity above the ground, but also in the underground diversity in the soil. Soil contains over 20 tons of microorganisms per hectare. This is known as the microbial soil biomass and contains millions of species of fungi and bacteria. They aren't all that easy to isolate, so the scientists study them in the soil itself. The researchers start by taking fresh soil samples and freezing them with liquid nitrogen. This is the only way of keeping the microorganisms in their current state. Now the researchers can get down to analyzing the soil in the lab back in Halle. The doctoral researcher Yu Ting Wu is comparing the microorganisms from the various plots in the forest. This is a two-stage process. We will use this machine and a special bits to destroy your cell. The DNA will be released. And after extraction and purification with some special buffer, we can get the purified DNA for the following analysis. In the first stage, the researchers identify the microorganisms using their DNA. To do this, they need to find specific sequences of the genetic code. To amplify the target gene using specific primers, we use PCR cycle. In the polymerase chain reaction, these sequences are multiplied tens of thousands of times. After PCR reaction, we will run geoelectrophoresis to check if we get any PCR products. From this image, you can see one well means one soil samples. Sometimes in one well, you can see more than two bands. And because we study microbial diversity, so we will continuously to clone our PCR products to get the purified DNA bands and then sequencing. In the second stage, the examinations become more precise. Now the researchers differentiate between the various groups of microorganisms by analyzing the soil samples for specific components, such as phospholipids, for example. The researchers are able to use them like fingerprints and thus identify which groups of microbes the biomass contains. This machine is GCMS. We will put our samples for analysis in this small vial. After one hour, we can see the result of the samples. Here, we can see many different peaks. And based on the molecular weight, we can identify microbial structure and biomass from the soil samples. The results help the researchers to understand the function of the diversity in an ecosystem. When you talk about diversity, you tend to think of tropical rainforests. But actually, the diversity of the organisms in the soil is much higher. And these organisms play a very important role, for example, in decomposing the litter or in forming humus, and thus for the fertility of the soil. In this respect, it's very exciting to discover this world and to understand how it responds to changes in the climate or the level of diversity of the plants. There is still a lot of unanswered questions for the team of researchers to address, so the largest forest experiment in China will continue for many years to come. But for now, it's time to say goodbye. Thanks for watching and see you again in China. Visit DFG Science TV for more information. Awaken the researcher within you.